Hello, this is Julian with Coffer Reviews, and today we will be doing another blind taste test rankings video. Now, the way these videos work, for anybody that's not seen one of our previous blind taste test rankings videos, is we have five cups of coffee over here, and we have five cards of coffee over here. We're trying to identify which of these cups is which of these cards based off of taste alone. Then we're going to be ranking them in order of our favorites to our least favorite. And there's a theme behind each and every one of these videos. And the theme behind this video is sampling coffees from Belaine Coffee Roaster, a coffee roaster out of Mullingar, Ireland. Now, what inspired this video was our review of the Johan Vergara, a wash processed Columbia from Belaine that we reviewed earlier this year. And I enjoyed that coffee so much that it still remains my favorite Colombian coffee we've reviewed this entire year. And after that review, Bell Lane did reach out to us, letting us know that they were going to be releasing this sample pack of coffees that they were very excited about. So we decided to purchase it, as it does give us an opportunity to try some more of their coffees. And let's go ahead and introduce those coffees that will be featured in today's video, beginning with the Enrique Lopez, a red honey processed Mexico. Then we have the Yaro Arcio, a wash processed Colombia. The Javier Quintero, another wash processed Colombia the Paulo Trujillo, our third wash processed Colombia, and last, the Wilder Garcia, a wash processed Peru. All right, let's go ahead and move this out of the way for now. And as always, none of these cups are labeled anywhere except for on the bottom. We just like to shuffle them around for good measure, as it also gives us an opportunity to discuss what we have in our hands here today. And this one might be the most difficult blind taste test to date, as we are working with a couple of, uh, wash processed Colombian coffees, two of which have the exact same varietal, the Bourbon Arusi. And then outside of that, we have a third wash processed Colombian coffee. And then we also have a uh, uh, wash processed Peruvian coffee. And that one is probably the biggest favorite in this video, given that it is the only washed gesha that we do have. But the Mexican coffee that we also have on this table could also be a underdog given that it might act like a wash processed coffee. And what makes this also pretty tricky is that I don't even know which one might stand out because of the profiles of these coffees given that they all do have a red fruit theme and toned to them. So that's also going to make it pretty tricky. And then outside of that, I think that uh, the maybe biggest underdog in this video is going to be the Woosh Woosh coffee, given that I haven't had the best experience with Woosh Woosh coffees in the past, but I really don't know what to expect from this one, so it'll be very interesting to see how this does turn out. We will go ahead and start with that one right there. All right. Cup number one. This one right here is a little bit more on the tame side, so I'm thinking it's going to be one of our either Woosh Woosh or Gesha coffees. <laughs> the way I'm gonna approach this video is I'm going to assume that those Bourbon Arusi coffees are going to have maybe a little bit more of a Kenyan-like feel to them, maybe a little bit more of some like tartberry aspects, mostly because they have those red fruit notes, but as I kind of mentioned, all of these coffees have some sort of red fruit notes to them, so I'm not entirely sure. This one on the softer side of things, not detecting as much of it. I'm going to place it right here for right now. Let's go ahead and move on to cup number two. And that's where things get kind of interesting because as I kind of mentioned, this one has a little bit more of those uh, savory red fruit aspects to it. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be one of our Bourbon Rusi coffees. It does have some pretty nice sweetness to it. I'm actually going to place it right here for right now. I think that the sweetness does help given that this one was just a little bit more on the tame side of things. All right, let's move on to cup number three. Hmm, this one's kind of interesting. I feel like this one could go either way, but I am leaning a little bit more towards it being one of our Geshas or the Woosh Woosh coffee. It also has a little bit more delicacy to it, though it has a pretty lingering finish as well. So this one right here is kind of interesting. I'm gonna place it in third for right now. Let's go ahead and move on to cup number four. And I feel like this is going to be the third of whichever one is the Gesha and whichever one is the Woosh Woosh coffee, as this one also is a little bit more on the tame side of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it in fourth for right now. Let's go ahead and move on to our final cup, cup number five. <laughs> 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 
And that's actually very tricky. I think that I'm only confident on one of these coffees being the Burpoon Arusi. And then outside of that, I'm not entirely sure. All right. I'm gonna place this one right here for right now, and I'm gonna run through these coffees one more time and see if I might have some better guesses on them. Let's go ahead and start with this one right here. This one I'm pretty confident is going to be one of those. And I'm moderately confident that that one isn't. <laughs> I think on a second run through, kind of running through these coffees side by side, this one might be the other one. I think that this one has a little bit more of those red fruit tones to it. But again, I could have that mistaken. I think that these are going to be either the Wush Wush or the Gesha. Yeah. All right. I think I'm comfortable making some guesses right here. So this one right here I said was going to be one of our I want to make sure I have this right. Bourbon Arusi coffees. So we will say this one is the Javier Quintero. This one right here is going to be either the Gesho or the Woosh Woosh coffee was my guess. And I think I'm actually leaning a little bit more towards the Woosh Woosh for it. I think mostly because it has a little bit more of a citric tone to it. So I'm going to guess that this one is actually the Paulo Trujillo. And then this one right here I said was going to be our other... Bourbon Arusi coffee, which would make it the Yaro Arusio. Actually, which one do I think is going to be which? I think that's this one has a little bit more of a red theme to it. Black currant has a little bit more of that Kenyan like feel. This one right here, it was there, but not quite as prominent. And that's why I'm going to guess that this one is the Javier Quintero. And then next we have these should be the Geshes then. Let me see which one I want to take a guess being the red honey processed. I'm going to guess whichever one's a little bit more intense. And the reason I placed this one right here was because it was a little bit more intense. So I'm going to guess that this one is the Enrique Lopez. And I'm going to guess that this one is the Wilder Garcia. All right. I'm not confident at all. Let's see how we did. So this one right here I said was the uh, Wilder Garcia, so it should say WG. And we're off to a good start. That's kind of surprising. I said that this one was the biggest favorite going into it, but I think what held this one back was that it was the most tame and toned down of these coffees. Let me see if I'm able to experience the notes that they have listed on here for this one. I mean, I can see it. It also does have a little bit of a citric quality to it. I can see maybe a little bit more of the peachiness in the finish, but outside of that, I think just comparing it alongside of these other coffees, it's not quite as intense. So this one right here I said was the Enrique Lopez, so it should say EL for Enrique Lopez. All right, we're off to a very good start. And I mentioned that this one just felt a little bit more intense than this coffee, but I said going into it that I was kind of concerned this red honey process might act like a wash processed coffee. I cannot tell that this one is a little bit more processed than the rest of these coffees on this table because this one is very much acting like a wash processed coffee. This one has a little bit more of the peachiness to it and for that it has a little bit more sweetness, intensity, and that's why I placed it above this one. But I feel like these three coffees actually performed a little better on this try. This one I said was the Javier Quintero, so it should say JQ. And it does. All right, I'm getting very confident now. As I kind of mentioned, this one right here, I went into it assuming that the Bourbon Arusi coffees were going to have a little bit more of a Kenyan-like feel to them. And I do have to admit that the main reason I thought that was because when I was brewing these coffees, I could tell that it was a little bit more Kenyan reminiscent at the time of brewing them. It had that aroma to it. And for that reason, I assumed that that's the way they were going to translate into the cup itself. So I don't know if that technically counts as cheating, but I was right on this one. And the reason I swapped these two was because this one right here, it had a little bit more of that Kenyan-like feel and the notes on this one were a little bit more Kenyan-like, definitely more of those current components to it. All right, so this is the big moment. Let's see if we got them all correct. This one I said was the Paulo Trujillo, so it should say PT. And it does. And that's kind of exciting that this coffee did perform as well as it did. Let me try it one more time here. All 
That's actually quite nice. And I said going into this that I have not been the biggest fan of whoosh whoosh coffees as they've had a little bit of a strange feel to them, but this one has just a little bit more intensity than the other more standard washed coffees that we do have on this table. So the only other two non Porfono Rusis. And it's so interesting to me that the Geshe's performed the weakest in this video. And I think a lot of that had to do with maybe them being much more tame and subtle than the other coffees on this table. So that's probably the biggest surprise is that this coffee finished second place. But that does take us to our first place coffee, which is the Yaro Arcio. So it should say JA, and it does. As I kind of mentioned, this one was the most Kenyan-like of the coffees. And given that it just had a little bit more intensity than the rest of these coffees, that stood out for me and it earned it a first place finish. I do want to try this coffee one more time. That's very Kenyan-like, and I feel like people would be surprised that a Kenyan-like coffee might perform better than the Geshe's that we have on this table. But I feel like the main reason for that is mostly because of just the intensity that it did have to it, and a little bit more of a sweeter sense. So a little bit of a surprise for me that it finished first place, but an even bigger surprise is that I seemed to have lucked into a five for five on this one, and I will happily take it. Um, Unfortunately, we're not going to be reviewing any of these coffees because as I mentioned, this is a sample pack. So this one only had uh, 30 gram doses of all of these coffees. And so I have one more cup of coffee that I'll get an opportunity to brew all of them and try them out. So I assume that by the time this video is released, then I will have had my second opportunity to try these coffees. So I might have a better idea of them, maybe isolating and trying them on their own to see if they might turn out a little bit different. But that's the way they placed in this video, which is a very interesting result for me. But I'm actually going to leave it at that. If you guys enjoy these blind taste test videos, as I always say, they take the most amount of effort to do, but they are by far the most fun to make. Then give this video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And this right here has been a blind taste test rankings video featuring five coffees from Bell Lane Coffee Roaster. Thank you for watching.